just want to talk for a few minutes about these things. Um, our industry always seems to accommodate toys and gimmicks that make things quicker because, you know, being quicker must be more competent. And um, the R2 adapter is one of these. And there's a real potential hazard if it's used in the wrong way. Now, first of all, you mustn't plug this into a live socket because then the whole BS1363 protection, I think, is out of the window for shutters because, you know, they're, they're not shuttered anymore. So I'm pretty sure that's a bad thing. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it'll say that in there somewhere. But that's not where I'm getting to here. What I'm getting to here is what we use this actually for. We use this for measuring R and plus R2s for our continuity of ring and radial vinyl circuits. But have a think about how you do that. And I just wanted to just double check that you're happy with the way you're doing it. So with the ring, I've got a little drawing here. We've got, ignore the radial. There's a ring with a spur off of it. We know the testing to be step one. Now, yeah, end to end. Little R1, little Rn, and little R2. Is the ring a ring? Yeah, fine, fine, W does. You don't need this for that. So we can just measure that with the leads at the board. Boom, 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 done. Great. You then have steps two and three, which is the figure of eight for R1 plus Rn and R1 plus R2. And that involves the interconnection figure of eight at the board, um, kind of thing. And then going around all of the sockets, taking values. Now, <clears throat> we can calculate all this. I can, I'm going to do videos on how to calculate R1, R2's ring final tests and stuff. That's all in the pipeline very soon. But one of the question what do we do the R1 plus Rn for here we verify there are no internal loops with the ring no interconnections so that the load is equally shared there's no overloaded conductors because of the uh, the unique rules that are applied to rings 20 amp maximum uh, minimum capacity etc but the other benefit of doing two and three is you achieve polarity at these sockets so if I, for example, this is this is how a socket should be connected. So you've got the earth there, the neutral, and the line. If I had the line connected at these sockets, but here I had reverse polarity, yeah. Then when I was measuring R1 plus R2, let's say that the um, the earth is where it should be, because what the hell wouldn't it? All right. I'd have a value here because I'd be measuring between two terminals that have cables in. I'd be going into R1 and R2 there, and I'd be testing between R1 and R2 there. So I'd get a value here, and here, and here, and here, and here, but here, because the line in this socket is connected in the wrong terminal, I have line and neutral reverse polarity, I'll get open circuit here. So I'd measure an open circuit, and I'd, so let's say that's socket 2, I'd be like, well, you know, for R1 plus R2, socket 2 equals greater than 999 or something like that. That means there's no circuit, there's no continuity. I can act on that straight away, but what I should do is carry on. If I then went on to do the, um, the R1 and Rn, I'd be verifying that line is at every line terminal and neutral every neutral terminal so like that so in the case of an R1 plus Rn test I will get a reading here because R1 and Rn are there R1 and Rn are there R1 and Rn are there R1 and Rn are here and here and although they're the wrong way around they are still here this tester will not know that line and neutral are of incorrect polarity because all they're looking for is positive and negative continuity. 
It was because I did an R1 plus R2 with this socket that I could find reverse polarity. And so in this case, let's say that R1 plus Rn at socket 2 equal 0.45. That would tell me, well, open circuit, I have a, a constantly between line and neutral at socket 2, but I have no circuit between line and earth at socket 2. That tells me that I have a line and earth problem. But thinking about the problem, one of them had to be somewhere else. Well, line was definitely in this test, so if it's not there for that test, then it's got to be that line and neutral are reversed. If you do R1 plus R2 and R1 plus Rn tests, as you should with the guidance notes, to verify interconnections and stuff, you create polarity by default. And you should always find these problems. Here's the next concern though. When we have a radial circuit, we go back into the world of, well, with radial circuits, they're not the ring circuits, so we've got to do, really, for radial, is verify continuity of protective conductor which is easily achieved with an R1 plus 2 test or even just an R2 test. Now, I have a potential to have a line and earth reverse on the socket outlet. And this is actually speaking from experience when doing periodics. It was a MK Logic Pro where the all the terminals were insulated behind. If I measure R plus R2 at this socket, I'll get a reading because I'll just be measuring R1 plus R2 from here to here. And when I measure at this socket, the one with reverse polarity, I will also get a reading. Because the cables are there. Yes, there's reverse polarity, but the tester won't know that. The only way the tester will know that is if I then come back to this socket and I try to verify R1 plus Rn, and then I realize, well, R1's not actually there. R1's, um, I'm, R1's somewhere else, like I did with the ring. Now, the requirements for polarity in the wiring regulations is to verify correct connection accessories and equipment. Now, in an initial verification, you are supposed to eyeball and verify those co those connections on uh, as an inspector. But if you're running around, well, these pieces of crap on radials, how are you verifying polarity? Because you'll just go take a reading take a reading, you'll get readings, you'll write them down, you'll energize the circulator on, and if someone plugs a class 1 item into that, then all the exposed conductive parts will be live for whatever the potential time is, depending on how effective it's everything is. It's potential there. The method of testing was fine before they start adding these things that change the way we think about the work and the way we execute the work. When we change the way we execute the work, we still need to remember what the actual job was in the first place. Continuity of protective conductor and polarity. If you're using these, make sure you're verifying polarity. These don't verify polarity unless you do an R1RN on radials. Yeah, up to you. Have a think about that.